uh, good morning everybody and uh, thank you mr salet always nice to come on a saturday morning and uh, talk to people about things which are quite important in elder care if you are an older person and of course if you are a caregiver then these are things you need to know uh, when uh, you have to take care of older people so yeah uh, i am a geriatrician or uh, as you can call me an elder care specialist uh, what i do is i do something known as a comprehensive geriatric assessment which is a detailed protocol in which i see the health aspects the mental aspects that is the memory the depression uh, presence of anxiety then uh, the presence of fall risk presence absence of urinary incontinence uh, the social part whether they are living alone which flow they are living then the part of the caregiver how financially or sound so uh, an elder's uh, health is affected by multiple domains and i look at all the domains trying to uh, make a problem list in which every problem is important the medical problem the physical the social problem whether it's a problem of mental problem and try to address each problem not only in an opd basis or an ip basis but at a home basis and basically have a continuum of care so ultimately an older person who comes to me should be able to maybe come back to his normal self or maybe come back to the community so it's basically a holistic attitude which is given to an older person wherein no no stone is left unturned to make sure that a holistic care is given and every problem of the older person is taken care of. so that is the motto of geriatric really so uh, today's topic so i my... think is something which a lot of older people do suffer from and uh, it can be highly distressing so that is constipation now constipation to be very frank if you have it even for a single day uh, just one minute i'll just adjust the video yeah if you if if as a younger age if you experience constipation for even a single day then you should realize what an older person is actually undergoing so constipation can be highly distressing why because one is not passing stools two is not ultimately feeling hungry and then it sort of affects the mental aspect as well because you you there's a general sense of not being feeling good about so when you when you ask yourself whether you have constipation or not you have to ask yourself this do you have less than 3 bowel movements a week that is one two is are your stools lumpy hard क्या आपके क्या आपके जो लैटरिन जा रहे हैं वो टाइट हो रहा है सो डू यू हैव अ हार्ड टाइम पासिंग स्टूल्स देन और डू यू फील ऐसा मतलब यू आर जस्ट ब्लॉक्ड आउट नॉट फुली फीलिंग दैट यू आर एम टी ऑफ इफ एनी ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चंस अगर इनमें से कोई भी क्वेश्चंस आपके यस yes हैं तो आपको कॉन्स्टिपेशन हो सकता है और इसकी फर्दर आपको इवेल्युएशन की जरूरत है कॉन्स्टिपेशन के कॉजेस बहुत ज्यादा होते हैं इट ऑल्सो नोन एज कब्जियत ऑल्सो नोन एज मतलब टाइट हो जाना स्टूल तो सबसे बड़ी चीज जो कॉन्स्टिपेशन को एफेक्ट करती है वो आपका डाइट है बहुत ज्यादा टाइम हमारे डाइट में ज्यादा मतलब कार्बोहाइड्रेट सी होता है ऐसा कुछ हम फैट होता है पर ऐसा कुछ हम एड नहीं करते जिसके वजह से फाइबर एड सो अगर आपके इसमें वेजिटेबल्स नहीं है फ्रूट्स नहीं है हाई फाइबर डाइट नहीं है तो फिर आपको कॉन्स्टिपेशन होगा ईटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ हाई फैट फूड्स जैसे एग प्रोडक्ट मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स हो एग्स हो स्वीट्स हो वो सब कॉन्स्टिपेशन कॉज कर सकते हैं तो डाइट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज फार एज कॉन्स्टिपेशन इज कंसाइम्स वॉट एपन इज एज वी गोल्ड वी माइट लूज इंटरेस्ट इन कुकिंग एंड ईटिंग तो there is a chance that we might not eat fiber at all so whatever is there we just eat we can eat fiber uh, i mean we won't eat fiber then you end up getting constipation now what is important in an older person is also the teeth i mean you might not be having teeth so you are not able to process or not able to chew things which are actually having fiber so we need to provide you with things which are actually having with a soft for you to eat so that you can actually chew properly and they have fiber unfortunately most soft things do not have fiber so we need to we need to sort of balance it out another important thing which we keep telling all older people and people who are taking care of older people is pani pani 
जो हमारे जो प्यास रहती है एज वी ग्रो ओल्डर जस्ट टेंस टू डिक्रीज एनी वे बट इफ वी रेड्यूज दउंट ऑफ वॉटर ड्रास्टिकली देन इट इट रियली कॉजेस अप टू अ ग्रेट डील कॉन्स्टिपेशन सो वी नीड टू टेक रेगुलर मील्स के साथ साथ हमें वॉटर लिक्विड भी रहना है वी ऑलवेज की फिक्सेटेड नहीं की टाइम पे खाना खाना है बट वी फर्गेट द फैक्ट दैट वी ऑल्सो टू टेक एडिकुएट अमाउंट ऑफ वॉटर सो दैट द बल्क इज ऑब्वियसली एडेड नाउ अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स लॉट ऑफ मेडिकेशन कैन ऑल्सो कॉज कॉन्स्टिपेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल थिंग्स लाइक I mean, there are certain anti-hypertensives that can cause constipation. Then certain diseases like Parkinson's, they can cause constipation. If you have a stroke and you're immobile, then you can have constipation. Then, what is important is sometimes too much laxative use. That can just upset you. For example, if you have a little bit amount of constipation and you feel like, "I need a medicine. I need a medicine. I need a medicine." Then sometimes you become over dependent. When you get over dependent. then the normal bowel movements itself get upset so we need to be very careful in using medications also from yourself within lack of exercise i think lack of exercise lack of mobility is so so important if a person is sedentary inactive bilkul hi chal nahi rahe bed pe hai jaise bahut sare log bed ridden hote to usme constipation hone ka chance bahut zyada rahe तो उन केस में हमें कभी कभी मेडिसिन देना ही होता है क्योंकि हमें पता होता है कि आप नहीं चलने वाले एंड सिंस यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू वॉक देन वी विल हैव टू एड्रेस इट थ्रू मेडिकेशन देन अनदर थिंग दैट कॉजेस कॉन्स्टिपेशन इज समाइम्स वी जस्ट टेन टू प्रोलॉन्ग प्योरली बिकॉज अ जा रहा है बट देन वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो बिकॉज अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर नॉट कंफर्टेबल इन गोइंग टू द टॉयलेट आउटसाइड द हाउस सो वेन दैट है and when you keep holding your bowel movement sometimes the delay might be too long and that bowel movement is gone and you actually end up having constipation now medication medical conditions like stroke diabetes diabetes also slows off your bowel movements then there is a thing known as irritable bowel syndrome usme kabhi kabhi constipation hota hai kabhi kabhi diarrhea hota hai to thode muscles jo hain wo bahut hi weak ho jate hain तो उसके लिए स्पेसिफिक ऑफ कोर्स मेडिकल कंडीशंस के लिए हमें मेडिकल कंडीशन को कंट्रोल करना पड़ेगा एंड आल्सो कॉन्स्टिपेशन को भी फिर मेडिकेशंस जैसे कैल्शियम है बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है कि आप कैल्शियम ले रहे हैं फिर डिप्रेशन के मेडिसिन हैं बीपी के थोड़े मेडिसिन हैं जैसे आपके पानी को बाहर निकालने के लिए जो मेडिसिन किडनी में यूज होते हैं वो बहुत ज्यादा यूज होते हैं तो उससे भी हो सकता है और थोड़ी दवाइयां जैसे मैंने बोला पार्किसन डिजीज के लिए जो यूज होती है so these are the causes how do you treat a constipation is something which is very i told you is a very distressing symptom so we want to address it so there is a there is not always medicine which is needed diet so most important i think is diet you have to increase the amount of fat uh, amount of uh, fiber in your diet jaise big good sab hai na usme aapko kam karna hoga comparatively fruit add kijiye फिर वेजिटेबल्स ऐड कीजिए ग्रीन लीफी वेजिटेबल्स आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ योर डाइट इज हेल्थी एंड यू कैन ऑब्वियसली एड अट ऑफ ब्रांड फिर दलिया है ये सब चीजें हैं जो बल्क को बढ़ाती है हमारे फूड की तो वेन द बल्क इज इंक्रीज ऑटोमेटिकली द बोवल मूवमेंट विल इंक्रीज सेकेंडली प्लीज टेक अ लॉट ऑफ फ्लूड फ्लूड इज इंपॉर्टेंट आई नो इफ यू हैव डिजीज लाइक किडनी डिजीज ब्लड प्रेशर है हार्ट डिजीज है लिवर डिजीज है तो कभी कभी फ्लूड्स थोड़े रेस्ट्रिक्ट होते हैं बट अगर आप पे कोई रेस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं है तो आपको फ्लूड जूसेस वो सब चीजें भी लेनी चाहिए पर मैं इतना बोलूंगा आपको कि कभी भी आप पल्पी चीज जैसे अगर आप अखा जो जिसको बोलते हैं फ्रूट खाते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल बनाना खाएंगे तो दैट विल हेल्प यू बेटर इन रिलीविंग कॉन्स्टिपेशन जय ना बनाना मिल्क शेक ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज वो जो फाइबर है वो पूरा उसका कंसिस्टेंसी चेंज हो जाता है देन एक्टिविटी Staying active is very important. जितना बेड की तरफ है उतना कॉन्स्टिपेशन बढ़ेगा जो आपको मूव होना चाहिए टेक केयर ऑफ योर इट कुड बी वेरी मिनिमल ऐसा नहीं कि सिर्फ बैठे रहना है कुकिंग में भी आप इधर उधर चलिए घर पे भी अभी चलिए एंड जहां तक मेडिकेशन का सवाल है प्लीज डू नॉट सेल्फ मेडिकेट इन एनी कंडीशन इवन इन कॉन्स्टिपेशन होता क्या है कि हाँ हमें पता है कि नहीं केमिस्ट के पास से हम जाएंगे और बोलेगा कि नहीं ये वाला ले लो उससे लैटरिन हो जाएगा 
तो वैसा होगा तो नहीं आपको वैसा नहीं करना है एंड यू शुड ऑलवेज आस्क योर डॉक्टर बिफोर एक्चुअली जस्ट ब्लाइंडली टेकिंग लैक्सेटिव बिकॉज इट कैन रियली जैम योर टर्म आई मीन देन यू विल बिकम डिपेंडेंट ओनली ऑन द लैक्सेटिव टू गो so it's a multiple thing diet physical exercise if needed medications medications could be as good as isabgul isabgul husk is nothing but it is a roughage which will just go off with your flu, with your with your stools it doesn't even stay in the body then there are other things like syrups that also can be given but it's very important that the amount sometimes you take too much and you get end up getting diarrhea so that is something we should not do again if you have been constipated for long you have loss of weight your appetite is also going down please get yourself evaluated because chronic constipation constipation of a long time has other causes as well if you have weight loss we have to rule out other causes such as cancer as well so if at all there is a bowel movement sometimes diarrhea ho raha hai sometimes constipation ho raha hai those things are happening then you have to get evaluated and depending on whatever blood test we do we can do other tests and a gastroenterologist might or might not be needed but i think it's very important that we relieve constipation because when you relieve constipation it is really really something which gives you mental peace as well because i've seen a lot of older adults who get really depressed with the fact that they are not able to pass stools properly it affects them mentally it affects their diet and once they stop eating less obviously they tend to lose weight get more weaker the immunity goes down constipation should always be addressed earlier but i would always say that we have to mix the non pharmacological jaise pani ki matra diet fiber badhana exercise karna mobility badhana chalna uske sath we need to balance with medications and try to have a specific for a particular person have a specific plan for constipation because constipation when relieved gives the older person a real mental satisfaction and makes him makes that particular person freely express them now there is problems with constipation why we should not have prolonged constipation and sometimes there will be certain symptoms i would just want to highlight one is you can have bloating you can have pain in abdomen feeling of fullness problems with chronic constipation is jab latrin bahut tight ho jata hai so sometimes enema also cannot work so we literally have to put a digital evacuation and remove it so that is a problem second is hemorrhoids if you have lot of straining lot of constipation and you already have hemorrhoids there is a loss large chance ki matlab the hemorrhoids will actually break in a common layman's term it is known as piles then there is something known as tears in the skin of the anus jisko hum fistula fissure kehte hain to bahut constipation rehta hai aap dam zyada lagayenge to aur dard ho aur chauthi cheez jo kafi logo ko ho sakte hai wo bahut hi gandi uh, complication hai and bahut severe complication hai ki pura rectum hi bahar aa jana bar bar constipation karke to waisa bhi hota hai isliye we should be very very careful with constipation and try to treat it always uh, early then there are a lot of medications which can be given i wouldn't want to go into a lot of details there are stools softeners there are lubricants then there are stimulants but everything has to be depending on that particular older person's profile what is important is prevention of constipation so i'll just want to add something on that and then end foods that cause can that can <coughs> which are good for uh, constipation are could include apples citrus fruits hai figs hai sweet potatoes hai spinach hai then whole grain wheat hai nuts hai these are things which are good whereas uh, first white bread then red meat jo white rice hai dairy products hai fat rich products hai ye sab thoda avoid karenge to better rahega that's why it's very important Another question that most people ask is how am I constipated? तो मैंने बोला था बहुत सारे लोगों का जो अब रहता है वो ट्यून हो गया होता है सिस्टम कि वंस इन थ्री डेज ही जाए तो ऐसे केस में वो उसको हम कॉन्स्टिपेशन नहीं बोलेंगे अगर वैसा ही हो रहा है इफ यू हैव लेस देन थ्री स्टूल्स लेस देन टू स्टूल्स डोंट पास टूल्स फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम देन इट इज रियली एंड इट कैन बी पुट इन टू कॉन्स्टिपेशन एंड इट नीड्स टू बी वेल 
So thanks a lot for your patient hearing. If you have any questions, we will obviously take. Thank you. Our question is: uh, How much does uh, yoga help in uh, releasing this uh, constipation issue? I mean, how much you can rely on uh, yoga asanas or yoga practices to to reduce the the issue of constipation in seniors? I would say I would I would say not only not only yoga, but it does help. Certain asanas do help, but I think it's. it cannot it can never be only that if you are if you are able to do yoga means you will be mobile a bit so mobility is important and you have to you have to add it up with diet the adequate amount of water and the type of that which you are using because just i would say yoga would be more of supportive and which would help in it uh but overall not only yoga yeah doctor can i ask a question yeah i'm leo this is a 65 years old uh, just wanted to know uh, how much water uh, i can take during a day and uh, 12 hours okay so so for a for an old for an older person maybe about 60 65 who doesn't have any comorbidities around 1 to 1 and 1/2 liters is more than enough and uh, i would say that's why i specified if you have heart condition if you have a liver condition or a kidney condition you might have to limit the amount of water intake so a lot of and it is specific to people say for example certain people are limited to 1 liter certain li people are limited to 800 ml but if you don't have then around 1 and 1 to 1 and 1/2 liters is more than enough and i would advise you to finish most of your intake before 6 pm purely because if you have a lot of intake after 6 pm then you might actually have to get up again and again to pass urine okay thank you doctor thank you uh, questions yeah. uh, I, i have a question uh, doctor jani and uh, i understand that uh, the posture while evacuating your bowels is important if you sit squatting down like in an indian toilet rather than sitting on a western toilet it does help to uh, you know uh move your bowel easily so is that true yeah to an extent yes ma'am but the posture as you grow older i think this the actually the the indian commode becomes almost impossible for an older person to use mm. that is one because with issues of knee and uh, with uh, obvious fall risk when you actually go down if you have any bp changes you have to get up and if you fall so i would say as you grow older it would be ideal that the western sort of toilet is only used because the indian toilet is just too risky mm -hmm. and also if you place a stool you know uh, beneath your legs about 1 feet tall stool that helps if you are sitting on a western toilet i didn't get that ma'am like if you keep a stool under your feet while if you are sitting on a western toilet with a one feet stool under your feet ma'am i would say i would say whatever whatever height it is it should be ideal for you okay i mean it shouldn't be too high or too low okay i yeah i'll just have ask you yeah. a question which is you know uh, about a year ago what became very popular yeah. on whatsapp was yeah. that you are converting a western toilet to mimic an indian toilet by having a stool below so that your legs are raised and therefore you're sitting uh, on a uh, on a secure surface and hmm. yet you're doing theoretically your bowels are uh, are being relieved properly so she was asking uh, yeah i i mean i to be very frank haven't haven't really advised that to a lot of older people because i still feel it's it's got a fall risk yeah, yeah i can hear you yeah a uh, doctor now in case of irritable bowels you know there is a you know alternating between uh, loose motion and constipation and it's quite irritating at times ma'am just ma'am just one minute the doctor is on a call so that because it's i mean to literally say it get up how old is he is uh, 72 but he's quite uh, mobile active that so, is very okay. active yeah if he's mobile then it's good so in that case i that case i would i would say see sometimes what happens is certain certain older adults are tuned to go multiple times okay 
but i would say ideally ideally if i mean ideally one bowel movement a lot of people have one bowel movement they might have two movements unless it is tight every time he goes that's an issue for example if he has to literally strain every time he goes as i told you the complications are galore because when you strain it really sort of i mean the uh, enter abdominal pressure increases if you have piles it can be an issue so a lot of other things are also it can also lead to the entire rectum also coming out because as we get older it becomes a bit more weaker uh, so i would say and does he say, does he take anything in particular for constipation no he takes uh, this uh, isab okay. nityam uh, nityam and isab gol okay uh, so basically i would say that if he is i mean if he is distressed by going multiple times at least try to reduce the quantity of one of them okay because the number of stools are important for example we want to relieve constipation but sometimes when we give syrups the elderly ends up going a lot of time and it becomes too distressful so we are wanting nice hard form stools even if minimum once a day is good and uh, yeah so we can try to reduce it and then titrate it to be very frank what whatever he is adjusted to it maybe a little bit of quantity you can reduce and see but uh, 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 earlier he was on medication and the issue happens that he is uh, going too many times so that okay. also leads to a lot of weakness is that yeah yeah normal right no no i won't call it normal because it will it will cause lot of weakness he has to go to multiple times it will really make him tired because yes. i mean going to the stools again and again becomes really difficult so isab gul is good to be very frank isab gul if you take thrice daily also there is no problem because it doesn't do anything it basically just increases the bulk and then you leave it out and lot of people to be very frank i have heard lot of a lot of my patients are getting good relief with but the churan and all those things as well i mean as you're saying even a lot of ayurvedic ayurvedic components also work uh, i mean no 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 castor right no okay how about uh, i am uh, saying i am saying playing around with too many laxatives will cause it cause more cause more constipation and cause his bowel movement to become more upset okay thank you doctor yeah yeah Any doctor may i ask a question hello doctor my question yeah, is so what exactly is irritable bowels and what aggravates this problem and Ma'am, sometimes irritable, it is yeah, yeah irritable bowel syndrome is an entire different topic hmm. i mean it will take it will literally take me one session for that hmm. one of the type of about why I, why i mentioned it is because constipation type is there irritable bowel syndrome is one of yes, the in yes. one of the types there is a constipation type and mm-hmm. what usually happens is irritable bowel syndrome to a large extent is involved with the mind as well mm-hmm. okay. a, a lot of a lot of people a lot of people have actually got improvement on anti by antidepressants because that is the treatment uh a lot of times it's the feeling of going but going again and again again and again again let me be very frank irritable bowel syndrome is a diagnosis of exclusion it will not be suspected first yeah because yeah. there are a lot of there are a lot of causes of constipation and once we are able to rule out most serious causes which can cause i mean a lot of a uh, lot of distress medically as well irritable bowel syndrome is not I, i won't say it's not serious but it is uh, to a great extent with the mind as well and if you're passing flatus or if you're passing wind from down means you're not constipated if you're not passing wind also then it's serious because then which means it's actually blocked down there and we need to we need to evaluate you further yeah no doctor because my problem is it alternates between a constipation and a, a liquidy uh, discharge like See, for example, if I take some fiber, and then you know I yeah. feel that I want to let out wind, and then suddenly I find you know a little uh, liquid coming out. You know, 
I'm constipated earlier. The first stool was a constipated stool, which I go and mm. I see that every day in the morning, my bowels are e evacuated. Then only I feel comfortable. But this I've okay. seen whenever I take even little fiber. No? So I, I kept on reducing the fiber. So the flatulis become, I'm letting out flatulis because I'm taking L-glutamine powder also a little bit to build up yeah. the uh, intestinal lining because maybe mm. I, uh, I may have had uh, what you can say leaky bowel syndrome and all that. Yeah. yeah. So then, you know, uh, uh, does, you know, taking supplements like zinc and calcium also in no, calcium, calcium, calcium increases constipation. Yeah, yeah. Because you see for osteoporosis, I take uh, calcium and I need to take a heavy dose of calcium. But this calcium which I'm taking is along with magnesium. So calcium so X500. So that's what I'm saying. If you need to take calcium, you still have to make sure that your diet is fiber rich. You take adequate okay. amount of water because ultimately I am saying calcium can be avoided if it's an unnecessary medication. If you're mm -hmm. on it, obviously you need to take other ways which will help in preventing constipation. Okay. Okay. I've seen that. Yeah. And what about zinc yeah. doctor? Zinc is, zinc? I mean, zinc to an extent can cause constipation also. Zinc is actually a good, good medicine, but ultimately yeah. if it is not, if it is not indicated in your case, you shouldn't be taking it. Okay. No, like, you yeah. know, like Becusul Z now, because of the present pandemic, they say that we need yeah. to take a, a little more of zinc to find. And I have seen no. that zinc has helped me in fighting the infection, like it not allowing it to lead, lead up to bronchitis. It just, you know, it's in yes, the see, throat. See, see, zinc, in general, yeah. zinc in general is good. So zinc can be taken. That's not a problem. But I always tell you one thing. Uh, you have to ultimately uh, make sure that you take only the drugs which are necessi necessary. Supplements are there galore, but we can't keep taking supplements as well because it increases your pill burden. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. doctor. Thank you. Thank you. So, doctor, uh, let me ask you the last question if nobody else has. As a rule, if anybody thinks that they have a constipation problem, can they continue taking a sub goal? as long as they want is it addictive Isab Isabgul is not really addictive Isabgul is very much natural fiber i would still prefer if you can increase more fiber in food rather than and see rather than taking Isabgul because it still has a mentality that you are taking a medication but Isabgul is very safe and uh, Isabgul can be taken almost thrice daily also a lot of older people do that it is just adds to the bulk of the stools and it is just washed out of the body. So there is nothing remaining. There is nothing distressing about it. There is no side effects per se. But certain people don't get relief with Isabgul as well. So in that case, we have to go for other things. But if you are taking Isabgul maybe once daily on a regular basis, it really is not harmful. Okay, doctor, do you recommend Isabgul before the meal or after the meal? What do you normally... Or, or before at night? night? It's always taken at night. Ideally in night only. If you're taking it once. Uh, after dinner? Or yeah, after, after dinner or before or sleeping. After. Thank you very well, much, uh, Doctor, for again taking so much time out for us and educating us on the various aspects uh, of uh, elder health. Uh, again, just to tell everybody, uh, uh, this recording of this entire session, including the earlier session, would be there on our website. Uh, you can just click it uh, and uh, you can hear either this or any of the others that Dr. Prem has done over the last two, two and a half months. Uh, so that is one. Second is uh, do write to us any suggestions of, of topics you'd like us to cover. I will send that to Dr. Prem. And third, in case you want to talk to Dr. Prem directly for any of your concerns, uh, please go to my website. Uh, if you click on Dr. Prem's uh, link or any of his speeches, you'll be able to uh, get his number and you can directly uh, talk to him or you can call the just look number and get directed to him. Uh, with that, I'd like to thank everybody from Tare Social. Uh, do log in again next week uh, for another session by us. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you.